It seems to me that the wiser you are and the nearer you are to God, the more humble you are. Because what is humility? is knowing that you possess nothing, but everything you have received is a gift from God. And so the Bible says that it is easily in entry. Jesus Christ says, learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart. And the Bible says, James and Peter says, God actually resists the proud. And the writer once says, it is pride that turns angels to Satan. Because pride is self-idolatry. It is replacing self in the place of God. And so that wisdom, you see it in people who are, they are just palpably humble. They, they don't just, it's not that they want to be humble, but they can't be proud. And that's what Paul said, what, have you, what excuse do you have? What are you going to be boasting? What do you have that you have not received? And that's why John the Baptist says he must increase, I must what? Decrease. Because to me, I'm not yet there. To me, humility is not a virtue. You know, humility is actually how I should live. Humility should be my life. Because there is nothing that I really have that is not a result of the power and the movement of God. And so when you have this wisdom of God, you are palpably humble. You, are, you, you, you walk, you struggle, but you're actually not striving. You're not in contention. Then that wisdom, as uh, what do you call it, James says, it produces peace. I spoke a lot of to him about that. Peace, you know, the Bible says, better a dinner of herbs with quietness than fattened lambs with strife. You don't know what peace is till you actually stay in a place when there is no peace. When you stay in a place when there is peace, everything works. They may have nothing in the house. But when you say a place when there is strife, everything is an issue. From the way you drop the cup, to the way you put the shoe, to the way you throw up the socks, to the way you drank your food, to the noise you make when you are eating, everything is trouble. Everything is trouble. But when you have the wisdom of God, and you see things from the perspective of God, and the wisdom of God is resting upon you, and the spirit of peace is on you, there is peace. Some years ago, I was called, and because of the social media, I won't say it, I was called to lead a particular department somewhere. Before I came into that department, there was always strife, you know, as many academic things. People are fighting. Actually, there were times we almost had blows. And the moment I, the Lord told me to go there, I knelt down in the room, and the Lord said, my son, you're going to bring your peace here. You are going to just bring your peace here. No discord, no disharmony. And actually, when I was leaving, one of the consultants uh, said, said, look, is there any way someone can remove peace from your life? Because it is the peace of God. When I started ministry, because I have been with many brethren I started when I know that many people in ministry fight. Actually, pastors cause pastors, they cause their congregation when they do things wrong. And I made a resolution that I'm going to take the spirit of Abraham. That no matter what happens to me with anybody, I was say, if you choose the right, I will take the left. If you choose the east, I will take the west that I would live a life free of contentions. And that's what Jesus says, my peace I give you. Not as the word give it, give I you. Let not your heart word be troubled. And so when we have the wisdom of God, we will see, actually see peace. What I call, you will promote emotional calmness. Somebody was saying that there's what they call the early morning rituals. 
And again, I would need the neurologists to think about this themselves. I don't know whether what they are through that. When people wake up in the morning, very early in the morning, that is when they remember that their grandmother didn't like them. <laughs> <laughs> That's when they remember that they, the father wanted to abort them. Or their husband is not a very, very selfish person. Or their wife is very nags. And those early morning rituals, I realized that over time becomes what determines the pattern of life. And actually rules our life. So I decided that I'm going to give my money to God. Money, no conversation than prayer. No tea than the Bible first. And then when I started sanctifying my money, you know, when I started clearing my money, the whole day started flowing right. And rather than see what has not been done, I begin to thank God for what has been done. Rather than cause God, I say, God, you know, you'd have put, uh, what do you call it, why do you put thorns in the midst of roses? I bless him for putting roses in the midst of thorns. Rather than shout on God for not giving me a shoe, I thank you for not making me crippled. So, so you see, the wisdom of God begins to allow you to know that peace is emotional calmness. Is well-being, is satisfaction, is joy, is longevity. 